Okay. There are four kinds of models we can do, linear, quadratic, power function, exponential. That's a great big deal in working with real-world data. Um, and we could add logarithmic models, and we probably will, but let's get these done. Okay? For linear models, we need two points. And use y equals mx plus b, or ax plus by equals 1. And we get simultaneous equations, right? Quadratic models, three points, and use y equals ax squared plus bx plus c. Of course, it doesn't have to be y and x. It could be p and t. It could be y and t, right? Okay? Power function models, we need two points. And we use y equals ax to the p. Exponential function models, three points, y equals a times b to the x. Now you need to know those forms. And when I say on a test, do a power function model for these two points, you need to know that the power function is a x to the p. Exponential function, you need to know it's y equals a times b to the x. And there are other forms that we can use and will develop. So you simply have to know those forms. And then it's just a matter of relatively simple algebra if you know the laws of exponents to get your model. And you know how to solve the equations that you need to apply the model. You've got all the pieces, with the exception of the laws of exponents. Okay? You got all the pieces to come out of this course with some pretty useful and relatively profound knowledge. And you got what? Roughly a month. That includes Thanksgiving break when nobody does anything except digest turkey. Okay? I don't know, maybe you do other things. Um, so basically we've got this week and next week and a week after Thanksgiving to have class. So you need to stay on top of this stuff. Um, but it's in reach. I just looked through the text and you can do almost all of it. You have what you need to do almost all of it. Okay? Um, might not quite realize it, but you do. Uh, so we're going to see what we can do about this.